hey guys welcome back to my channel I am back with another hair tutorial I know finally so today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take this old wig from looking like this to looking like this as you can see it's a complete 360 it looks more popping it looks more new it looks fresh that don't even look like the same wig, does it no it doesn't so if you're interested to see how I did this let's get started always please check the description box down below for any questions or products that I've used the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this heat protector. Now you do not have to use the same thing that I'm using. There's only two products in this video that I'm going to recommend. But apart from that, use whatever you got at home. Now whenever working with bundles that you spent your hard earned coins on, you always want to treat the bundles as if it's growing from your scalp. Now you would never, ever, ever go in and fly in your hair without applying a heat protector. So you're going to do the same thing to your bundles that you would do your hair you want to protect it you want to give it that sheen you want to give it that protective layer mm -hmm. so as you can see now I'm going in with my um, big wig brush from my beauty supply and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna detangle it you want to detangle and get as much knots as you can try to bring the hair back to its original form so that you can analyze how much work you're gonna have to put in to get it to look brand new so now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to section off the hair to make sure that it's a little bit easier to work with now disclaimer please disregard how this hair looks how the construction under this wig looks this is one of the first wigs that ever constructed when i decided that i wanted to wear wigs so you know the sewing ain't all there the sewing ain't all there but what you need to know is the tracks don't fall out sis they're very secure they just look a, a little bit messy you know but you, you can't tell you can't tell so as you can see i'm going to detangle the hair once more in the section which is a little bit more easier when detangling, you always want to work your way from the bottom up. I find that this video is shedding and it helps to detangle a little bit more easier. Then I'm going to spray some more heat protector just to make sure you know that we don't have a lot of split ends. Because if you ever notice, when you go in without a heat protector, you get a lot of split ends on your bundles. And I'm going to go in with this Moroccan Organ Oil from Organics and I'm going to apply this. Now this is going to be the first product that I do recommend in this tutorial. This right here will top 5 save your bundles. Like... If your hair is dry, your hair is going through something, get some of this oil and rejuvenate it because sis, it will come back to life, okay? Now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to continue to detangle and section off the hair. Now I'm sectioning off the hair into two parts which will make it a little bit more easier to work with because you don't want to go in a flat iron, a huge chunk. It's not going to be all that. I'm going to go in with the comb and I'm going to further detangle it. Now this is going to be the second thing that I am going to recommend down below. This is a detangling brush. It has two sides so you know that it's going to give the hair the precision that it needs to detangle every single strand when it goes through. I find that using this brush to detangle the hair helped to bring the hair black back to its sleekness because I feel like if I was supposed to just fly in this hair, I would have been here for like a couple of hours. But using this brush, it helped to get the job done. It basically helps to straighten the hair a little bit more and to be tangled to the best of the abilities that it can't be tangled and then you go with the flat iron your home girl home girl you're only gonna have to go over a section one to two times two times the most if you know you're like me and you have like perfection problems you're gonna go over it twice but i mean one time is pretty good if you, you know but i mean i would recommend twice but as you can see i went over it one time it looked really good and i'm gonna go back over it a second time just to make sure that it is fully 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 flat iron and as you can see do you see that sweetness what tangle what tangle now this hair i've had for about you know about a year and a half it's my dy hair 777 that is the only company here that i do wear if you guys want to know please set the description box down below i'll have all the products listed i have the links where you can get this brush if it's not sold in your regular beauty supply store i will list it down below we can get it from
hello hello I'm back so as you can see the wig is now popping like it is now finessed to the best of its abilities like it's a brand new like new wig who's this okay so right now what you see me doing is I'm gonna go in and I am going to fix or edit the baby here you know edit it because when I first constructed this wig I know nothing about um how to work with baby hairs so like when I would wear this wig my baby hair will look atrocious because I would just have like a huge amount of hair pasted down on my forehead and ain't nobody got time for that so I'm gonna go in and I'm going to remodify the baby hair so what you see me doing is spraying some good old H2O out of my spray bottle and just spraying it to the front of the um lace closure and I'm gonna go in with some good old bounty paper towel, whatever paper towel you got, and I'm just gonna remove it, remove the leftover residue. So when I used to wear this wig, I used to use got to be glue, I would use gel, I would use edge control. Whatever was near to me that day is whatever I would put on the front of this to hold my baby hair down. So I'm gonna go in and I am going to section off the area in which I am not gonna reconstruct my new baby hair. If you look closely, you can see that some part of this wig is already short like you can see the front of the baby hair area you can see that some of it is short now that can like give you a clear idea of how i used to wear my baby hair because do you see how thick those baby hairs are so what i'm doing is i'm going in and i'm sectioning it off because i'm gonna make new baby hair and i'm gonna while i'm sectioning it off i'm gonna keep going in with the paper towel and try to remove as much as the got to be from the residue as possible i find that whenever you spray water and you go in it's easier to remove it you can more see it because then it turns white when you put the the, the um water on it so then you know what you gotta remove i'm gonna go in with these tweezers and i'm going to now pluck the baby hair i'm gonna pluck from the pre-existing baby hair that i have and plus a little bit of the new hair that i brought down just to make the baby hairs look more natural now whenever you're trying to do baby hair and learn it from me sis you want to make sure that it looks like real baby hair. You want to make sure that it's thin. You don't want to have it plastered on your face because ain't nobody got time for that. Now I'm going to go in with this two-sided razor comb that I got from the beauty supply store and I'm going to um, cut my baby hair. When cutting baby hairs or edges or whatever you want to call it, you don't want to use your scissors because you don't want to give the baby hair a blunt cut. You want to give it more like a, how do you create it, like a more effortless cut. So that's what I'm doing right here. So this is basically it after I do this, the tutorial is basically finished. So look at that, do you see that, do you see that baby hair? Now this is what you call baby hair, like it looks more natural. So that's basically it for this tutorial, thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, um, but yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in my next video and I won't take 300 years to upload, okay? Bye.